One of the basic questions um, is the actual position of the heat pump. Um, here, gen generally, two points. Uh, first, you should uh, realize that the heat pump's main uh, power or capacity source isn't the electricity, but it's actually the surrounding air. Uh, and if you block the surrounding air by any means of uh, tree, building, fence, or anything else, uh, your heat pump is going to suffer and your capacity and efficiency measured by COP is going to suffer. So important thing is to maintain certain distances from around the heat pump. And if it's a winter use heat pump, uh, then also the pump should be at least 30 centimeters above ground to protect it from snow and allow free condensate uh, dra drainage. This is an example of a winter application of a whole year swimming pool heat pump. As you can see, it's incorrect because the heat pump uh, generally sits on the ground. So as soon as the snow hits, the pump will be submerged into it and it will have no option of defreezing itself. So again, you need to, you need to position the heat pump on, on certain stand. This is, on the other hand, a correct installation of a whole year, also winter used heat pump. Uh, as you can see, the concrete, concrete blocks and uh, on the top of them are the rubber vibration absorbing base or, or blocks. And on top of those is the heat pump. So the heat pump has a very low probability in being submerged in snow and also it has a very good condensate drain ability. Another example of heat pump for winter use in a not really correct way of installation. Um, what the installer tried to do was to hide the heat pump somewhere. Um, he did not really uh, put it in a place where the heat pump can have a free air supply, so it's blocked on the air supply line. And the second problem is that the heat pump is positioned directly on the ground, so uh, during the winter time it will freeze and it will have no possibility of uh, defreezing itself. This is a very nice example. Uh, we have uh, installation in Germany. Uh, it's an outdoor pool with a three twenty-seven point five kilowatt machines. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a split machines. Um, some things were done correctly, but there are certain things which were not. Uh, one of them is the distance between the units. This is very little. So the, especially the unit in the middle will suffer because it will not have the sufficient uh, air supply that it needs. And secondly, you can see on the right picture, the units are not water leveled. So the units are actually bending forward a little bit. And if this happens, then during the defreeze cycle, the, the, the defrost, defrost ice will, or the water created will uh, gather in the front parts of the heat pump, which will continuously uh, create icing of the heat 